Okay, and then we'll uh, switch over to the demo. Um, so just a bit of a, um, to fill you in. Basically, we've got a, a repo here um, that I've created. Uh, it should be quite familiar for people who have uh, used Hillstripe before. So it's generally a repository. It's uh, It's got your basic composer.json file um, here, and we're actually um, pulling in um, all the Silverstripe dependencies into the project here. Um, other than all your application code, they will go into the usual places. So the difference between this uh, a normal um, Silverstripe project and a lagoonized version is we add a few scaffolding files. So I'll quickly run through those. Um, so first of all is the Docker Compose file. So this is pretty much a standard Docker Compose file. Um, if you've used Docker before, um, there's nothing terribly special about it. There's a couple of um, things which I'll detail, but basically this describes the project's architecture. Um, so you, you will define your services that you need. Um, and so for a basic uh, Silver Stripe project, what we're, we're defining here, we have a CLI container, an Nginx container, and a PHP container. Um, as well as a database container um, and a Redis as well. So all of these services combine to basically uh, run our application. So inside here, um, just the notable things here, we actually define, this is the integration point with Lagoon. So each of these services will translate to a Lagoon deployment. So we define the Lagoon types um, as labels on the services themselves. So I won't um, get into too much detail here, but um, a, a lot of the stuff is just um, plug and play. Um, the other part of the repository you'll need to understand is just the uh, lagoon.yaml file. So this here describes the project to Lagoon. So it's where we'll define our project name, Lagoon project name, as well as we can define post rollout tasks, pre rollout tasks, um, cron jobs, um, there's a bunch of other information here that you can provide for the particular project. Um, on top of that, um, inside the Docker Compose file, we're actually referencing some custom Docker files. Um, and this is how we actually build the project. So if we come into the Lagoon directory, um, here we'll have, um, for example, the CLI Docker file. This effectively builds our code base into the CLI um, image. Um, which will be used by the CLI um, container and deployment. So here we have the ability to add and remove, um, you know, custom PHP modules or extend the containers in, in any way. Um, you can see here, this is currently based on the PHP 7.4 CLI image that we provide, um, but then you can actually customize as you need to. Um, for Silverstripe purposes, um, you can see here that we're actually adding in the, uh, uh, Intel um, PHP extension, as an example. Um, and down here is where we'll actually run the Docker Compose build, um, so the install. Um, and we basically, the idea with the Lagoon, you also just build once inside the, uh, the CLI um, build, and then we will replicate that.